Hi, my brothers and sisters. Um, I just want to greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and come and share a word given to me by the Father and a little explanation with the word. Um, so I just want to bless the word. Most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for your children that you bring to see this video. Most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this word of warning to your children. Father, we glorify your holy name and we thank you that you are raising your church from Acts in your scripture. We thank you, Father God, that you are blessing your children with your Holy Spirit in this hour and you are encouraging your remnant. Thank you, Father. Bless the hearer. In Jesus Christ's holy name, I pray. Amen. Okay, um, I want to get straight to the point um, and just read the word and then give the explanation that the Lord gave to me. This um, came in on October 12th. And I don't have an exact time that it came in because it came in in several segments throughout the afternoon and evening. Um, so um, the, the word is titled Sacred Cows, and I'll explain that in just a moment. This word is for um, the father's children in the United States and those that are living abroad caught under the spirit of patriotism. So this is for my brothers and sisters of American descent, so living in the United States or those living abroad that also are caught under a spirit of patriotism. Okay, uh, let's see, who else is it for? Those worshiping at the spirit of politics, those worshiping at the spirit of the U.S., or things having to do with this nation, nationalism and national pride. So... And this word is directed at the asleep church, his asleep church that are doing these things that were mentioned. Okay. The word begins with, do not be nostalgic, my children, for this country was never your forever home. And you have fond thoughts to the sacred cow I have revealed unto you this day. Repent of these things, come to me, and I will wash you. Your worship of your country is your sacred cow. Your love of your politicians and the promises that they make to you are your sacred cow. I have sent, I, let's see, sorry, brothers and sisters, your country is your sacred cow, and you will not hear the warnings I have sent regarding your imminent destruction. Because you have listened to false prophets and have scoffed at my watchmen and watchwomen and prophets i will bring my hammer upon your nation i will have no other gods before me thus saith the lord the third part of the word says repent and come out from among those who will be partakers in the destruction so those are the uh the uh the, the actual that's the actual word that the father gave and then i sought him for more explanation i mean i understood exactly what was being said and he gave, he gave me some extra notes so the first thing I want to let's see I want to make sure that I do this in order because I haven't ever done it this way so if you're if you're not familiar with what a sacred cow is I mean you can you can google the definition if you want but it's basically a, a say a saying or a phrase that's implying that um, a topic is just beyond reproach like it can't even it can't even be mentioned so of course um, the Hindus they worship the cow, so of course it's you know any conversation that 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 would be opposed to that is it's, it's considered a sacred cow. So just something that people just won't even entertain the idea. The other definition I the Lord had me look up was the definition of worship. So the definition of worship is the extravagant respect or admiration for or devotion to an object. Okay. So we have, um, so this word is for those that are being short-sighted um, and they have bought back into the hype and being are led astray. So they're not um, considering their brethren who are being perse persecuted daily. So I want to explain here what the Lord's saying. Right now, the, the, the asleep church in the United States is very caught up in uh, Trump worship, politician worship, Biden worship, just the whole system here and they're they're just watching it with just every bated breath there's also the asleep bride is very caught under a spirit of patriotism where they really have bought into the lies of the united states that it's it's a god-fearing country and it's god's blessed country and um 
you know, the spirit of the Antichrist will come up against this message, but um, we, we're God's children, and, and this is a message to us. And so this is, at this point, it, it, it's, it's time to wake up. Brothers and sisters are here living in the United States. There have been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of prophecies given about our country and its imminent destruction. Okay, we're set for destruction. And I know that the spirit on you doesn't want to hear that because you've been listening to false prophets who are telling you that America's going to be great again. They're telling you that, you know, your national day of prayer was heard by the Father. They're telling you that, you know, if you just get this 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 justice in, thank you, Holy Spirit, if you just get this justice into office, if we can just get the other team to stop doing this, um, you need to understand something. You are worshiping a beast system by involving yourself in it. Okay, so just even just even the idea, and of course you've got your your false churches that are saying it's your duty to vote. You know, you better you better get out there and vote. I want you to understand something. You, as a child of the living God, you your kingdom is not here, and the Father is saying to you that you are participating, and if you continue to participate with this kingdom here and engage with it on that level and worship at that level, and continue and not to repent of it and ask Him to wash you of it then he is saying that if you do not repent and come out from among those who will be partakers in the destruction. So there are people that will, you know, you remember that the people that don't receive Christ, they will receive the wrath of God. And so we're in that season. And so brothers and sisters, I understand that you're part of the asleep um, church. So, you know, the, the traditional church, if you will. And um, I understand also that the fathers explained to me that the sleep church is not hearing the message. They're only wanting to hear the message that America will be made great again. So, and they're also not considering the suffering. You'll see that it says that they're being very short-sighted. His sleep church is being very short-sighted because they're not considering the suffering of others. So what we want to say to you is, is all across the world, our brothers and sisters are suffering persecution for their faith. And maybe not here in the United States yet, but you will to, to several in the last few weeks, in the last few months, you've probably watched the news. And if you have gone to the Father, you will completely understand this. You will know the season that we're in. You will absolutely know the season that we're in. But if you haven't, and if you haven't repented, or if you are caught under the spirit of uh, patriotism or a love for this country, or maybe, maybe you just continue to say, you know, well, once everything's back to normal, okay, you need to understand something. It's not going to go back the way that it was. And the fact that you want it to go back is already a hint that you're, that you're living. You're caught up in Babylon. You're, you're very aware that your brothers and sisters are suffering all over the world. And so your idea is just to make America great again. Now just look at that from Christ's perspective. Does it, sound, does it make sense that God, the God of the universe, would pick just certain people who live in the United States and they would have a blessed life their whole entire life and all the other children all over the world that are his children as well would be persecuted for their faith? Does that even make any kind of sense? And then not only that, those same children would brag and say, you know, well, it's the greatest country in the world. And then not even think anything about like with this season when they're, you, you know how much persecution is just already in our country, which is a free country. Imagine the persecution in the communist countries and other countries. They're being killed, brothers and sisters. And yet here in our country, you just want everything back to normal. That's, that's a hint that you're asleep. Okay, that's a hint right there. You can't, you can't sit there and say, well, I love Jesus, and I know Jesus, and I love the Father, and I'm in touch with the Father, and I'm hearing his heartbeat, but I want everything to go back. You know, we're going to make America great again. Okay, America's not going to be great. It's ran by very evil people. You are not from this kingdom, okay? Okay, so um, the Father also wanted me to touch on the point that his children tr want to belong to something called limited compartments, meaning they want to be a Republican, or they want to be a Baptist, or they want to be Catholic, or a Democrat or um, whatever it is, they have these little compartments that they, they want to identify with. And, and, and be, it's because they're very deceived because they really don't understand the time they're living in. They don't understand that they're inside Babylon and they haven't sought the Father for the truth. So the Father's asking, why belong to these limited compartments when you actually belong to the whole thereof? You are the seed of Abraham, so you are a child of living God automatically. So you belong to the whole part thereof. And your king, his kingdom... And where his ambassadors is from heaven, and so you you have to you have to kind of really look at what an ambu ambiguous it really is an ambiguous position if you're a Christian and you're saying you know I I I, I love my Jesus and you know I'm looking for my eternal reward when when we're caught up with this place here. So the Father's this message is very strongly saying to put it down to put it down completely right now. We are in that season. Um, I want to go to the next page. 
Okay, um, oh, the verse that the Father gave. Okay, so I want you to understand, um, the Father's telling you, child of God, you are protected. Know your heritage. So you're looking to these governments to protect you or changing government or changing laws or something. You know, you're looking for this. And the Father's saying, child of God, you are protected. Know your heritage. Okay, know your heritage. And the, the scripture that he referenced was Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Brothers and sisters, our righteousness comes from, from the Lord. We, 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 we're, we're not part of this kingdom. Our righteousness is not wrapped up in this place. And it's time to put it down. They're idols. Okay, they're idols. And, and we know that they're idols because it says this. And it, we can just do a really quick self-examination. I know that it's, it's, it, it can be, feel rough to be accused of idol worship. And I completely understand that. I wouldn't be here if I hadn't been accused of it either. And the Father hadn't washed me of it though. So I can promise you that I, you know, I'm guilty of it too. So... Again, the definition of worship says extravagant respect or admiration for or devotion to an object. So, um, in regards to your country, do you do you do you get teary-eyed at the national anthem? Do you do you see the Trump commercials or the Biden commercials or the just make America great or any any of the themes that the eagle, the America the beautiful? You know, do you do those things? You just um, proud to be an American? Yep, that's all idol worship. It's all idol worship. And how can you know that as a Christian? How, how can I say that with such authority? Our country is founded on the spirit of independence. And of course, when we're the children of the living God, we belong to the kingdom. We're servants of a kingdom, of a different kingdom. What, we, what, are, what, what, are, what are we independent from? What are, you, what are you independent from? Just think about that. Independent from England? I'll dig a little deeper and maybe talk to the Holy Spirit about what that really means. Okay? So this is your heritage. These are things the Father wants you to come into agreement and alignment with. And the, for the, the only way that's going to happen is if you go to the Father and repent of these activities. Okay? Um, God has given us glorious victory over Satan and whatever or whomever he uses to accuse us. So, of course, as Christians take up this mantle, as the Father raises up the church of Acts, you know, his, 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 he's raising up his children to speak truth because, of course, the churches are lying. They're false churches and they're wolves. Am I saying every church? No, I'm not saying every church, but it's highly likely uh, big, all the big mega churches. So if you're not hearing the truth that it's the end and it's the end of ends and judgment begins at the house of the Lord, then, then you're not tapping into the spirit of the living God. And, that's, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm here to share truth with you. This is just the truth, and you have to take it up with the Father. Okay, um, Scripture tells us, so of course, you know, this this is of course causing a lot of brothers and sisters, they're scared, maybe this person won't get into the justice, maybe that person will die, and this other person will get into office, and they're introducing all these laws, and you know, maybe they're scrolling all day long, you know, you really, it might not be a bad idea, it would be definitely a good idea. Maybe start tracking yourself and seeing how much time you're spending in the Word and in prayer with the Lord, and on social media with other activities and hobbies in light of the season that we're in, okay? Because there, that word lukewarm just keeps coming up. That asleep church, that lukewarm is not paying attention. You know, no one knows the hour of the day, but we were told to watch for the day. And let me tell you, the signs are just converging, okay? And you have to do it on your own. Ask the Holy Spirit. Okay, um, so, you you know, a lot of the brothers and sisters are getting fear from them. Oh, this other side, this is doing this. There might be a civil war, Antifa, Black Lives Matter, this one. Okay, this is what the Father says. We are commanded, uh, you have been commanded not to be afraid. What is formed against, uh, let's see. We are commanded not to be afraid of what is formed against us because our protection is from Him. Now, I can already hear, you know, some people are like, well, but I live in this country, so I have to, I, I, I need to, I have to, I, 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 I. It's a spirit of I, independence. I, me, I'm independent. Do you see the Spirit trying to show you that you're independent of the Spirit of the living God of whom you belong to, that you were created for? You are created for a purpose. You have a calling on your life. Okay. Um, we stand on the truth of the living Father, and we, in doing so, we condemn the lying tongue of the devil. Okay. We just, that's how we can, that's how we do it. God has given us 
his glorious victory over Satan and whatever he uses or whomever he uses to accuse us. So, of course, we are fixing to go into a season where we're going to be, well, it's the Christians, you know, it's really their fault. You're already going to, you're already seeing it in the news, what's being said. It This has become so apparent, air apparent. I mean, it really is apparent about what's going on in the end times. And it's, 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 an, it's an obvious path that the beast system's rising. But without the spirit of Christ, you know, it doesn't, it's not obvious at all. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, these are the things that the Father wants you to remember. You know, that this is our heritage, and we're to walk in this, okay? God is sovereign over all. If we are in God, we are in all, and we are one with God, okay? Not America, not American, not, not whatever American, this or that. Not that. You're not that. You're not that. Stop calling that. You're opening your mouth, and you're claiming that over yourself. And um, you're just basically, you're tossing away your inheritance, that was bought and paid for you with the blood of Jesus Christ. Just throwing it away. Just throwing it away. Um, let's see. Let's see. This specific... Okay, here's some specific promises that God's giving. Weapons will be forged. The world did not... Uh, the word... My word. Okay, weapons will be forged. My word did not say the weapons would not be forged. The weapons will be forged. Um, as we see in Israel's history, it doesn't matter what fiery darts that are hailed against you. Those weapons shall not prosper. Let the weapons form. They shall be rendered useless. Let the weapons form. Not one of them shall prosper against God's people. Let the weapons form. They shall not cause the destruction of the saints. I want to read those again because I really want to empower you. Father God, I pray that you empower my brothers and sisters to receive this word. Let the weapons form, they shall be rendered useless. Let the weapons form, not one of them shall prosper against God's people. Let the weapons form, they shall not cause destruction of the saints. Do you see these? We, we already know the weapons are going to be formed, but we're promised they will not prosper. Okay, they're going to form. We already know that what, what we can look to the scriptures to show us what's going on. Okay, we already know what's, what, what is happening and what's what's going on what, what's going to happen with the christians you know cursory glance isaiah um revelations and then just really dig in with the holy spirit not with yourself sit down and read god's word it's 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 a sword okay we're redeemed and it it's this is a battle it's a spiritual battle you know people are getting it's, it's they're getting a little twisted a lot twisted they think it's a battle about the united states and who's going to be in power and it's it's such a vain thought. You know, God's children are all over the whole world. All these things are converging all over the whole world. Not just in our country. You know, I I really want to say it, but like let's get over ourselves. Okay, let let's just get over ourselves. All right, let's let's just do that. Uh, children of God, protection is your heritage, not because we do right. He protects us because our righteousness is from him. Okay, so it's because of his righteousness he protects us. That does not mean we don't get disciplined of the Lord, and it does not mean we will not be partakers of the things that happen um, in Babylon, and the, the, but those are appointed to, to be destroyed, to have destruction. So what do I mean by that? Well, it's not because our Father doesn't love us. Our Father loves us very much, but what you need to understand is our Father loves us so much that He is going to make sure we put down anything that's between Him and us. And trust me, I know of where I speak because that's what, that's what he does. And not in a tug and pull and push you down, push, shove you over and give me this up. But just by an increasing of pressure, of events, of things until you finally come to the end of yourself and you run to him. And what you need to understand, if you're not abiding in him, that pressure is going to start squeezing. So what am I saying? I'm saying as destruction is imminent, our country is going to be destroyed. I understand that you're being told that it's not and that your 501c churches are... Hey, everything's fine. They are lying to you. They are lying to you. It is the end times. It is the mark of the beast system rising. There will be total destruction in this country. We were brought to heal just exactly when you read in Revelations. We are um, Babylon, uh, spiritual Babylon. And so what, you, it, what does that mean for God's children? What does that mean for us? Okay, the Father's bringing his wrath on this country. They've killed 70 million, I think, it, how many babies? Just the, this, the whole system. You cannot look at this country. Now, is it the only country that's going to get smashed up? No, there, no. The Bible says, I think in Revelations, that the, the earth's going to reel like a drunkard. 
think it's in Revelations. I can't remember. It might be 13. I can't remember. Don't quote me on the number, but it's in Revelations. And that's because God's going to pick it up and shake it. So that's going to happen. God's word doesn't return void. And so people get the idea, well, it's not going to happen for a really long time. It's not going to happen forever. Brothers and sisters, there are thousands upon thousands of brothers and sisters that have been given words, dreams, visions, a spoken words, understanding, um, end time revelation. You know, you, it's time to start asking yourself, why are you arguing against your eternal kingdom and where you're going? You know, why are you arguing? You can't argue. You, you know, I mean, I guess you could try to argue against the spirit of living God, but it's, it's not going to be fruitful. All right. Okay. And why would you want to? You know, if you profess Christianity. I also have some more. Um, okay, a little bit of note. Okay. Tell them. Uh, Jesus is your bridge to the Father. There is no other way to the Father but through the Son. And I know, you know, if you're, if you're saved or if you go into church, maybe, maybe you do know that. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you've already received Christ. If you have, then you're probably very aware of this stuff. But let me explain to you what that means. How... How do you think it makes God feel when he sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for us? And we know it. Like, He, we know it. Washed us clean so that he can present us to the Father. Like, it's no way. There's no way we can do it. We just cannot get our own selves clean. Even if we try, you know, it's, it's impossible. So the Father gives us this beautiful gift, you know, the gift of grace. And instead, people's hearts are swelling up with pride over their nationalism, where they live, over their president over their flag just remember the bible says let, let let all our thoughts be with him and abide in him imagine christ inviting in you and in your hands over your heart and you're saying i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america a pledge is a very serious thing i encourage you to look up the definition the other thing that i want to um to say is um Okay, let's see. Right now, the Father is um, completing a great process of purification, which means he's taking his children and uh, putting the finishing touches on them for us sons, as sons and daughters of the living God, and, and, and he's working that out with them. And, of course, we're called to come and speak at any given time that the Father gives us a word and also to pray for our brothers and sisters. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this word. And I just, I, I, I pray that if you've listened this long and that if you've caught the spirit of fence, I'm going to pray that off you too in Jesus' holy name. Okay, because it, this is important. The Father sent this message. I'm here by faith. Um, and I just, I, I, it's very important that I give the, give the final part of the message. And I, I thank you for your patience. Uh, Father, most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ that we can apply to all of our situations. Father God, we pray that and we bind the spirit of patriotism, the spirit of independence in Jesus' mighty name. We bind the orphan spirit in Jesus' mighty name. We bind the slave spirit in Jesus' mighty name. And we, we bind any soul ties to the government in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, we bind these enemies and we give them to you to throw in the pit. Father God, we wash and we repent ourselves of it. Father God, we repent of ever taking our eyes off of you. And Father God, we thank you right now in this hour. We thank you in this hour for the reminder to put our eyes on you. It's very much needed in this hour, every hour. Father God, we pray in Jesus' mighty name that you loose the spirit of repentance over our nation. In Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I pray that you re re you release the spirit of sonship. In Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I pray you, you loose the spirit of wisdom and revelation. In Jesus' mighty name. And Father God, I pray and loose the spirit, the Holy Ghost fire, Father God, upon my brothers and sisters. Father God, we thank you for the words that you're giving in this hour. And Father God, we thank you that you lead and guide us into all truth. Father God, we thank you. That we are not from this kingdom and that you're pulling us from this kingdom in this hour. And Father God, we thank you for the opportunity to keep our eyes on you and for this moment to share and grow together. And Father God, I bless my brothers and sisters with eyes to see, the eyes of their heart, the understanding, the understanding of your heart. Brothers and sisters, I bless the understanding of your heart that the Father will open your eyes, the eyes of your heart, so you'll understand that the hour we're in and you'll understand the Father's heart. And I just pray that the Father will share his heart with you right now. You know... The Father loved us so much. He sent our beautiful Lord Jesus to die on the cross for us. And our Lord Jesus loves us so much. Every day he's praying for us. His spirit's inside of us. And um, just think about all that God 
did just with that one act, not everything else. Can you imagine how offensive the continued worship of other things is? And you, you, you might have people say, well, it's not worship. I just love my country. It's Babylon. It's Babylon. Ask the Father. Ask, ask the Father. You know, when you hear people say, well, you know, we might go to war with China or Russia. Well, they better not try it. We're the greatest nation on the earth. We only were the, ever the greatest nation because God did put his hand to protect us. And he's removed it. And if you don't know that, then you're not walking in the spirit. And I, and I understand that this word's offensive. I really do. And I don't laugh. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm laughing to myself because it's, I can understand how offensive it can be to be accused of worshiping something when you don't think you really are. And the only way for you to really find out is if you ask the Father, search your heart and ask him to show you. That's, that's, that's just the only way. Brothers, sisters, I pray in Jesus' holy name that this message blessed you, that it didn't upset you. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. I want to look one more time at my notes because I don't want to have to have to remake that. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Okay, so as an encouragement, that the Lord also gave me this. This is Psalms 34, 22. I want to make sure I have it. Yes. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants. And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. That's beautiful. Thank you, Father. Most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to come before my brothers and sisters. Thank you, most, most gracious Heavenly Father, for the words that you give us and the discernment. And thank you for your spirit of comfort. And thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding. We pray these things, these mighty things in Jesus' mighty holy name. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. I hope you have a great evening. Watch out for the sacred cows. <laughs>